this uh, short, hopefully short, <laughs> presentation um, uh, is going to be about uh, the tips that I've, I've learned, the things that I've learned um, when launching WSOs, and things that you uh, have to pay attention to when you are launching your WSOs. Okay, so let's get started. We have uh, the system. I've kind of put together um, how I go about doing WSOs now, or, or uh, how I, I go about releasing uh, my products on the Warrior Forum. And uh, first, I, I start on the product itself. Okay, uh, I, I try to come up with a, a concept of the product, um, what's going to be involved in the product, maybe like a table of contents uh, for the product, uh, an index, so to speak. Maybe I, I develop a, a mind map, and I, I kind of start brainstorming about exactly what uh, the product is going to entail. Okay, is the product going to be uh, video-based, PDF-based? Is it going to include a, a mind map? Is it going to include uh, JPEGs or images? Um, so all of the different aspects that will that will come together to to create your product so start thinking about your product and then start uh, uh, sketching out uh, either a mind map or on paper uh, an index um, and uh, what's going to be included okay think about it like a, maybe a, like a book and you're, you're creating the index of the book and then uh, you'll just expand on those different uh, chapters as you move along and uh, then once you uh, thought of the the product and uh, you have a cool name that you've thought of, then you want to go out and buy a domain name. So um, uh, as an example, uh, one of my products was called uh, FB University. So I went out and bought uh, fb-university.com. Okay. And then you want to decide whether you're going to go HTML based or, or WordPress. If you're going uh, WordPress, then you, you should know something about uh, WordPress and, and uh, know what kind of theme you're going to use or already have themes. And if you're going to go HTML based, then again, uh, you should probably know something about HTML or CSS or have um, a theme or a template uh, that you can kind of um, base it off of and just fill in the blanks. And then you want to go in, uh, if, you, if you're with... Um, uh, autoresponder or eye contact or, or get response you want to go and get the opt-in code for the form that you're going to use on your uh, JV or affiliate page so uh, you need to have this code to be able to put into your JV page to get affiliates to sign up to your list so that you can notify these affiliates when you launch and then uh, in, in future launches you can notify them that you're releasing a product as well and then you want to go ahead and, and set up your JV page. So uh, once you have your opt-in uh, code set, then uh, and you've decided if it's going to be HTML or, or WordPress, then uh, create your JV page. Okay, and the and the JV page is uh, an introduction video uh, from yourself. Okay, saying what your product is, um, what kind of prizes that you're offering uh, affiliates, why they should jump on board, and eventually it will have links that they can sign up for their affiliate. Uh, they can go in and get their affiliate links. Uh, for the majority of, uh, sorry, for the, the, the entire process here, I will be using a, a Warrior Plus as an example, but you can use um, uh, Mooshpay with, uh, with Dr. Ben's uh, system uh, for your affiliate uh, tracking. You can use uh, DigiResults. You can use JVZoo. Okay? So uh, you set up your, your JV page, uh, and you want to make it uh, as nice as you can because so, it, it kind of gives people an idea of what, your, what kind of care and attention you, you will give um, to your actual product. And then you want to apply for your Warrior Plus or your JVZoo Mooshpay links. Okay, so this uh, is done um, in this example. I, I will go in and, and, and do this live, and you will you will go. We will go into uh, Warrior Plus as an example. Okay, I have not used the the other um, affiliate programs here, so I, I'm only familiar with Warrior Plus. Here it says click. Here is here's new listing, right? So we would click on new listing, and then normally they would ask you to get a license, okay, and you would click here to get that license, and you'd have to go pay for that license. But this is the month of March, and uh, they're having a special where uh, all the listings are free. So we could just go straight into um, creating a listing, okay, and then to fill out this, you uh, you you talk about uh, whether it's going to be a buy now. Mostly, it would be a buy now button rather than a subscription based. So buy now, your price here. Okay, the name, and you want this to be descriptive and have your keywords inside of this, in, in your, inside of your domain name, because affiliates will look at this and decide whether they want to promote your product or not. Uh, you probably don't have to worry about the quantity. Um, this delivery file, if you only have one PDF, then you don't actually need a website. Um, you can just deliver the file directly from uh, Warrior Plus, uh, and it, it has a maximum size of 100 megabytes. And then if you do use a website, then you want the delivery URL. 
this deliver URL, if you have an OTO or a one-time offer or an upgrade offer, so idea, uh, essentially you have two products. You have one product on the front end, and then they can upgrade and buy a product on the back end. And so this delivery URL will actually be the sales page, your OTO, your, uh, your one-time offer sales page. Because once they purchase, and they go to PayPal and they pay, and they come back, then they want, you want them to be taken to the OTO sales page, which will hopefully sell them or, or upsell them on your other product on your OTO. Okay, and then on the bottom of that page, there will be a link that says, no, thank you, please take me to my, my product. And then that link will go directly to their downloads. Payment email will be your, your uh, PayPal address. Support email, if you have uh, a support like uh, yourdomain.com backslash support, then put it here. If not, you can put your uh, personal address or you can create an address um, to uh, support at whatever your domain name is dot com. Um, at the beginning, if you don't expect uh, you know uh, thousands and thousands of of, um, of orders, and and you probably sh shouldn't for your first uh, WSO, then uh, you can probably put your primary um, email address here or a personal email address and uh, handle support yourself. Once you get to a certain level, then you'll want to uh, farm that out or, or outsource that uh, to a um, support desk of some type. And then the refund period. Um, here, if you, if you read this, it says that uh, affiliates will only be responsible for refunds in the first 60 days. So you, you probably don't want to go past 60 days. I personally do 30 days uh, because there are a fair amount of serial refunders. Your refunds shouldn't be more than 5%, but um, there are a fair amount of people that will just uh, buy something, uh, read it over for, for 30 or 60 days, and then, and then refund. So uh, depending on, on how much... Uh, um, confidence or, or how long you want to wait before people are refunding, then uh, you can put in either 30, 30 to 60 days here. Um, and I, I wouldn't recommend going over 60 days. Your keywords here, you can uh, put up to three. So just put uh, the keywords that are the most relevant um, to your your product. Okay, And then down here, the active uh, and the select your WSO. We're not going to do anything with this right now. And the same thing with the parent listing. Your max price here is if you are doing a dime sale. So if you you start out up here at um, uh, $9 and then you put a max price down here at $19 and you say increase by $0.05 cents and every 9 sales, for example. This IPN forwarding URL and key generation URL is a little bit advanced and you probably don't need to worry about it. Your autoresponder service, you can choose it here. Okay, uh, I personally use Aweber and then uh, you would choose Aweber here and then it would, sorry, it will ask you the, the, the name, okay? So this is just like uh, something at aweber.com. So whatever you've named your list uh, for, for this product, then it will be that name at aweber.com. And then you'll want to uh, give a, a default commission here, and that's uh, up to you. Uh, anywhere from 50% to 100% is, uh, is, the, is the standard. And then uh, additional information. This is HTML based. So, for example, uh, if you wanted to do a uh, a link, www.yourlink.com, uh, uh, JV. Okay, you can make this uh, clickable. Okay, by, by putting in some HTML code so that when people come here, they can actually click on it to get to your JV page to sign up to your list. Okay, so you can put, uh, don't forget, something like, don't forget to sign up for the OTO and um, check out our JV page here, you know, for, for tools or, or um, uh, more information or pricing. Okay, and then um, keep this checked, WSO uh, of the day eligible, and then uh, update your listing. Okay, and now you want to... Uh, Add your affiliate links to your JV page. Okay, the affiliate links to your JV page. This is a little confusing at first because you don't know where they where they are, where your affiliate links are. So what you have to do is look up here at this number, okay, and write this number down. So one two seven three zero. Write this number down, and then you have to use that number in in your in your get links. Okay, so uh, uh, you can either uh, do it by if you see somebody else's page um, then you can check their page so for example this one I, I didn't include a video because I was running out of time I should have had a video right here at the beginning but instead it just says welcome affiliates it tells about the, the dime sale the price that it's going to happen um, it tells a little bit about the, the product itself and who who is it for 
and then it gets into get on the list. Okay, I want I want these affiliates. So I put Warrior Forum ID in their email, and I want them to get on my on my affiliate list. And then uh, I just offer some small. These are these are not big prizes at all. Um, I offer some prizes, and then I tell them when the contest ends. And here is the the links. Okay, so these links are standard for Warrior Plus. Uh, so the all the way to the offer backslash. Okay, so the only thing that changes is this number here. And that number, if you remember, was right here, the 12730. So once you, you get this listing set up, then you can just grab this number here, okay, and then put it on the end of this link here, warriorplus.com backslash affiliate backslash offer backslash and then the number. And then the, uh, the affiliate can go to that, uh, that page and then request to be an affiliate for your product. Uh, now that you have your, your JV page set up, you have your links, you want to post about your launch. Okay, and you can post, there's a, a, a couple of different places, but some that are that are good are warriorjv.com. Okay, you can set up a free account there. wsolaunch.com, this is uh, Dr. Ben's um, launch um, um, calendar. And then uh, in the syndicate forum itself, okay? And then uh, there's a standard way that you can you can talk about your launch. Um, it's it's basically uh, how much you're offering, what the product is, um, contact details for yourself, a brief description. Okay, uh, just go in and look at somebody else's that's already posted and and see how they've done it, and then just copy the same format. Okay, and now you want to finish off your product. So you have all this done, taken care of. So the the advertising is out there. Now you want to take the time to finish your product and finish the OTO if you have one. Okay, and an OTO has to be directly related to your product, and it should be something that is not required for the product for your own the the front end product to work, but it's something that really helps. Okay, so uh, for example, my uh, last. WSO was converting uh, at 50% at the, at the beginning. The OTO was converting at 50%, which was, which was fantastic. And uh, because uh, I had um, something on the, on the back end that um, would really, really help them out. So what it was is a, it was a, the front end was a PLR product for, for Facebook timelines. And then the back end was some, some videos and uh, a site and some autoresponder series and brochures and stuff that, that helped them use the information in the front end to further sell their services. So I gave them everything that they needed in the front, but then I gave them a little bit extra that you, you kind of don't really want to do without. And that's the, the best way to, to um, um, create your, your OTO so that you get the highest conversion rates on your OTO.